morning, students. Today, we're going to be talking about the five forms of energy. I can't wait to discuss it with you. Here we go. Energy forms and transformations. Energy, the stuff that makes stuff do stuff. <laughs> it's the ability to do work. There are two types of energy, kinetic energy, which is the energy of motion and potential energy, which is the energy that is stored. A great example of that is balloons. So if I put air in a balloon, it would have potential energy, stored energy. If I let the air out of the balloon, the balloon would start to move and that would be kinetic energy. Now discussing potential and kinetic energy, when a balloon is full of air it has a lot of potential energy and when I let it go <laughs> it becomes kinetic energy energy in motion that's the difference between potential and kinetic forms of energy we're gonna talk about five the first one is heat or thermal energy the second one is mechanical. The third is radiant or light. And the fourth, electrical energy. And finally, the fifth one, sound. This is going to be fun. Heat or thermal energy. A hot object is one whose atoms and molecules are excited and show rapid movement. More heat energy. My Bitmoji up there running on the treadmill is showing you what a molecule looks like when it's hot. A cooler object's atoms and molecules will show less movement, less heat energy. So which has more thermal energy and why? A cup of hot cocoa or a cool glass of lemonade? What do you think? Well, the hot cocoa has a lot of heat making those molecules move around like crazy. So it has a lot of thermal energy. The lemonade, on the other hand, has ice in it, keeping it cool. So since it has cooler temperatures, those molecules aren't moving as quickly. They have less thermal energy. Good job. <laughs> Mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is the energy of motion. An object's mechanical energy stays the same, but the potential and kinetic energy of an object can increase and decrease due to the mechanical energy. This Ferris wheel in the picture is a great example of mechanical energy with all of its moving parts. Here are some more examples of mechanical energy. Running, the space shuttle launch, and a jet engine, yeah. Light or radiant energy. Energy created by vibrating particles that create waves is light energy. These waves are called electromagnetic waves. Light energy can be transmitted, absorbed, or reflected. Light energy includes x-rays, visible light, and ultraviolet rays, just to name a few. Here are some examples of light or radiant energy. A light bulb, of course our sun, radio waves, microwaves, x-rays, and even infrared rays that come out of a remote control. Electrical energy. Electrical energy is carried by an electrical current, the movement of electrons in an atom. The electrical energy in your home can be thought of as potential energy. That is until you plug in an electrical appliance and use it like an electrical guitar, yeah. Sound energy. Sound energy is caused by an object's vibrations. Waves carry sound energy through the air in longitudinal waves. Chemical energy. Energy stored in chemical bonds. When chemical bonds are broken, new chemicals are formed. When this happens, energy is released. Some examples of chemical energy include fireworks, food, Food gives us energy, batteries, burning a candle or wood, and fossil fuels. What form of energy is pictured? 
Hmm, thinking, thinking. Oh, that looks good. Hmm, I wonder what kind of energy that would produce. If you said chemical energy, you are correct. What about a hot air balloon? How does that work? Hmm. If you said thermal energy, you are correct. The heat is what is moving that hot air balloon up and down. What about a swimmer swimming? Hmm. I see a lot of moving parts. If you said mechanical energy, you are correct. Hmm. Lights. Oh, I might have just given away this type of energy. Light energy, for sure. I can see that is visible light. Oh my goodness, a monkey. If you said sound energy, you are correct. The law of conservation of energy. Energy is never created or destroyed. It just changes its form. Hmm, let me tell you a story about my daughter, her My Little Pony, and the lamp in her room. Are you ready for this? This is going to teach us the law of conservation of energy. So, are you wondering how my daughter, her My Little Pony, and a lamp taught me the law of conservation of energy? Just like this. So one day, Kaden was playing with her My Little Pony and it accidentally fell into the lamp. We started to smell something burning and sure enough, we found poor little Pinkie Pie with a burnt little head inside of my Kaden's lamp. So the lamp, which was powered by electrical energy, which gave off light energy and heat energy, definitely transferred to the My Little Pony. And then we have chemical energy because burning took place. That's crazy. Energy is never created nor destroyed. The law of conservation of energy. I hope you learned a lot today, especially about the five forms of energy. So as you are going about your daily work, think about the things that made that happen. <laughs> Maybe it was the pizza I ate last night. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. I will see you next time.